Now an Action News special report. There is a new procedure available to women to treat unsightly varicose veins, and it makes use of a product that has really been around for decades. Lisa thomas Laurie is here to tell us more about the treatment, who should get it, who should not. And Jim, whether they're the result of pregnancy or heredity or just being on your feet too much, varicose veins are an annoying problem for many women. Twice as many women have them as men. And if you've always wanted to get rid of them, the FDA has approved a new option that's quick, practically painless, and very affordable. Ronnie White's life doesn't have a slow gear. Her workday as a nurse and administrator keeps her on her feet. In her spare time, she's also on the go, riding and having fun with the Jersey Girls motorcycle enthusiast. Running keeps her body fit, but spider veins and a swollen, twisting varicose vein keep Ronnie self-conscious about wearing skirts and shorts. I'm just embarrassed by you know, the bulging vein. I feel that everyone looks at it. So it's really going to be a very cool thing. After That's checking out I several did. options, it's Ronnie decided to go to Dr. Steve Davis thing. for a recently and approved product called Esclera. Its prime ingredient, polydocanol, has been used for decades. This agent in different forms has shown up in creams, ointments, all topical type of anesthetic products, even things to go after bee stings or burns. Varicose veins occur when the valves in the blood vessels weaken and blood pools, making the vein bulge. For years, doctors have made smaller varicose veins go away by injecting compounds into them, which damage the vessel walls, shutting them down and diverting the blood to healthier veins. But those compounds have had a major drawback. There's a burning, and then there's actual, a tr actually a traveling effect of that discomfort. Because the sclera's prime ingredient is an anesthetic, there's less discomfort. There's no downtime to this at all. Dr. Davis begins the treatment with the bulging vein on the front of Ronnie's leg. It's hardly even a pinch. So that whole thing cleared right there. It takes about 15 minutes to treat all of the veins on Ronnie's legs. The injections can cause some local bruising, and the veins can turn darker for a few weeks until the pooled blood dissipates. In rare cases, polydocanol can cause allergic reactions, like a rash, swelling, or even difficulty breathing. And if you've ever had a stroke or blood clots, Esclera might not be for you. After the treatment, Dr. Davis wraps Ronnie's legs with an elastic bandage. Then she heads back to work. Two weeks later, Ronnie's lower leg is smooth, with no sign of where the varicose vein was. Now she's as busy as before, but feeling a lot better about how her legs look. I'm very happy. I would definitely recommend it, and I would definitely do it again. Well, the cost of the Esclera treatments ranges from $350 to $750, $750, depending on how many injections are needed. Sometimes a second treatment is necessary to totally eliminate the veins. Dr. Davis believes Esclera will soon replace most injectables already on the market and the results are showing that more and more women are really finding uh, success with these treatments. Now you said twice as many women than men get varicose veins. Is there any right. reason why men shouldn't have this treatment? Well, men don't usually worry about how they, their legs look. No, no, I women, understand that, but, but I mean there's nothing specific can. to gender treatement here. No, right. no, but men can get them and it should be just as successful. Thank you, Lisa. You're welcome.